Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Temtem, episode number 100. In the last episode, we were able to get Nala now to Tamer's Paradise, but we need to unlock it ourselves. So we are back here at the Nuru Lodge, and we're going to go through the Coda routine case to unlock Tamer's Paradise. The cable way to kill him are peaks. Keep in mind, temperatures in the peaks can reach sub-zero. Dress accordingly. I have not done that. So that's not good for me. Uh, so if we look at our case notes, we can see that um, Philomena lives in Tequesta. She lost a mimic while Momo sledding in Kilima Peaks. And Igualito has never been bred. So, here is the cable cart to get to a new area that we haven't actually uh, seen yet. The Kilima Peaks. And we're immediately getting into battles. That's probably not a good idea. And it's not a good idea for them either, because we are incredibly strong and they are not. At least I don't think we are. Let's, let's have a look how strong they are then, shall we? Let's have a look against my level 100 T. Oh yeah, yeah, they are weak. They are weak as buggery, they are. I do agree that I do not have a very good team for this, but, um, you know. <laughs> and that proves, if anything, Rebel is perfectly fine here. And uh, William will also be fine because poison works, or toxic works quite well, against water types. So that works quite well for us. Okay, Rebel's no longer evading. Scunch is last up. That is fine as well. I have the power of psychic beams to deal with you. So yeah, that's if you survive this, that is, which you don't. Okay, I'm probably going to try and skip out the trainer battles, as you can see, because the trainer battles are very, very, very weak. In comparison to us. Okay, so. As you can see, we need to get to that marker there. It's going to be a long old route. But if anything interesting happens during that, I will certainly let everyone know. I'll certainly show it while I'm editing. Okay, so we need to go up again. That is fine. And then we need to go down. And double battle. Okay, skip. More battles, more battles. But yeah, we'll carry on this. Why are you just wearing underwear? It's, that's a dumb idea. So who's battling me, to be honest? I have level 100s. You don't. All right, so with that out of the way, we are getting ever closer to where we need to be, which is here. Hello. Am I my Luma, my friend? Uh. Do you know a denizen lady, Philomena? Sure do. She hired me a few days ago for a ride in my sled. Lovely woman. Great conversations. Why? Have you seen a mimic round here? No, I would have reported that to the Nuru Lodge. They could pos probably locate the owner. They are pretty rare around these parts, so must be some visitors. She lost her mimic here. Oh no, did she? That's a shame. She really loved him. Very cute one. Parasidito? Or something like that, he was called. Lovely one. Never seen one so healthy. Would make a great breeder, I told her as much. Did you see or notice anything unusual? No, really, the usual hubbub of locals and, of locals and visitors. Now the Belsoto trouble is over, people are very chatty around these parts, you know? I have the little casual chat with this guy, Kasirian, of course, but I remember he had peculiar mannerisms. The kind I only had once in Chipanku. But that's just anecdotic. What was their name? I uh, didn't ask. Okay, that's something. Thank you. Sorry not to be much help. I'll report to see if uh, Claviato, if I see him. Or whatever his name is. I should report back to Philomena. Um, you're telling me? No, I, I'm thinking it out loud again. I've got to stop doing that. Indeed, report back to Philomena in Tequesta. So let's go to Tequesta. All right, guys. So report, report back to Philomena in Tequesta. We're now here. Um, back in Dennis. And, uh, yeah, we just need to go into this house to report back what's going on, pretty much, with the Mimit. Hello. Ah, oh, you're back. There's something I have to tell you. What's that? I'm sorry, and... 
bit ashamed to say this, but I found him while you were away in Kasiwa and everything. I just found him. Where was he? It's, well, embarrassing. Just over there, here, in this house. I'm so sure I'd lost him in Kasiwa, but turns out I brought him back and then forgot where I put the Tem card. It was just over there. You can check for yourself. Did the case just solve itself? I wonder if this ever happened to Carlos. Anyway, I should check that Tem card, just in case. Here's the Tem card. But just to be thorough, let's go over the details. Name, Igualito. That checks out. Species, Mimit. That checks out. Original Tamer, Alfredo. That's not right. Owner, Philomena. Yeah. Fertility, one. Hmm. That's right, Detective. What did I say? It's my lovely Igualito, poor thing. I thought I lost it, and he was here, safe and sound. Something's wrong. I have a feeling I'm missing something here. Call my Detective Instinct. I should check this card. Yeah, I think... What it is, is correct, correct. That's incorrect. That's correct. Fertility one, that's not right. I thought it said it had never been bred, and if it breeds, it lowers its fertility. Do I just correct all of it? Apart from the bottom bit? My lovely Igualito, poor thing. I thought I lost it, and he was here, safe and sound. Why is this fertility so low, then? What are you trying to imply, Detective? That's not my little one. I'm quite sure he is. I know him very well. And someone's been using him as a breeder. What? That's preposterous. How could anyone have done that? If he was here all the time in my house. Are you absolutely sure? Naturally, I brought him with me to Kasiwa, and then I came back and I left him at home and just forgot. And then... Uh, then I thought he was missing. At no point could anyone have kidnapped him. Listen, Detective, I'm so sorry to have wasted your time like that. Seeking him in Kasiwa while I was here, well, was here in my place. I'm an old woman and I misplaced things, but you did honest work anyway. So let me compensate you. Oh, cheers for the pansons, I guess. Like you detectives like to say, the case is closed, isn't it? Thank you, Mastrath. Something smells rotten here. Why in my house? She said the Temtem had never been bred, but its fertility has decreased. So it has bred. At some point between Philomena's trip to Kasiwa and the time she found the Tem card in her house. Yeah, maybe we should ask the breeding center. I have to get to the bottom of this case. Coda, poisoned legacy. Ask for questions at the breeding center. Well, it's a long way to get there. Let's go to the breeding center. Alright guys, and we are back at Superior Omnonesia here at the Breeding Center to try and find out exactly what the hell's going on with this. Because this case is nowhere near closed. Hi, welcome to the Breeding Center. I wanted to ask you about a certain Temtem. Hmm, if it isn't your own Temtem, I'm not supposed to divulge any information, but you're that Mastrath, right? The special congressional agent and all that? I suppose it's okay. Which Temtem? Igualito. Let's see. I have a few with that name. Really? What species of Temtem are we talking about? It's a Mimit. Let's see. It's registered as property of a certain Philomena of Tequesta. Of Tequesta. That's the one. Hmm. I don't recall ever seeing that lady around here, which is weird. Because according to our system, someone brought that Tem just a few days ago and bred it a few times. Can you remember who brought it here? I don't know. You can't imagine how many people come here every day. Sorry, I'm very bad with names. Was it a Cassirian person, perhaps? A Cassirian? Hmm, now you mention it. Yes, I do think so. Yes, this guy, he was very nice and friendly, but seemed a bit worried. Nervous. Who knows? Did he look suspicious? What does that even mean? Did he look suspicious? Alright, fine. Do you speak with Chapanki mannerisms? Well, those were Chapanki. Might be. I've never been to Chapanki, but yes, he spoke with funny words, and I say that because I studied in Kasiwa, but. and I never heard folks speak like that. 
Why, you think you know him? I do. Time to have a chat with Bahano. The only Kasirian I know who spent a lot of time in Chapanku. What's he got mixed up in? Is Bahano still in Miyako? Let's bloody find out, shall we? Off we go! Alright guys, we are back in Miyako here. Um, so, yeah, we've got a marker there, so it looks like Bahano is still around. Got a lot to answer for you. Hey, Mastrath, we need to talk. Bahano, what are you doing in the breeding center with a stolen Temtem? That's exactly what I wanted to talk about. So talk. That's what I was trying to do. Some days ago, I heard of a certain group. They pretended to be cosplayers, reenactors, or something like that, but I had a suspicion they were a bit more than that. So on a hunch, when they asked me my name, I said it was Max. And they changed their tune. They treated me like a hero. They heard about me. Wanted to know everything about Clan Belsoto. It was awful. They thought I was still loyal to the clan. They were asking me for help. Do you understand what I'm saying? Neo Belsoto? Ists? You could call them that, yes. Like, how stupid do you have to be to feel any kind of sympathy for Clan Belsoto? They didn't recognize you? These clowns were never in these clowns were never in Clan Belsoto in the first place. I'd remember them. They looked young. Some had trouble with their parents. They complained they had no friends, or they didn't feel accepted at the dojo, or they didn't feel valued. It was scary to hear, Mastrath, but that was exactly the kind of sad kids that flocked to Clan Belsoto when it still existed. You know, people like Max or like me. What did you do? I wanted to tell them to go to the down below, leave me alone, explain, explain the clan, what the clan did to me, to Kasiwa, to the real Max, to the whole archipelago, but then I thought again. These people are organizing. They might be dangerous. They're not going to get away because I decided to look the other way, so I had to do something about it. Help them rob innocent old ladies? Hey, do you have to put it that way? I was part of the problem once, Mastraff. This time I want to be part of the solution. They're obsessed with rebuilding an army, but none of them is a great tamer, so they wanted me to get them better at Temtem, because I was old guard Belsoto, you know. They just assumed I would, so I played along. I knew Philomena, I knew Philomena had a good mimic, ideal for breeding, and she wouldn't notice if these guys borrowed it for a while. And then put it back at Philomena's place? So she'd think that she just misplaced the Tem card, yes. But then I took the case. Actually, I was going to ask for your help with the next step. I'm glad you came to see me. I'm supposed to meet a contact at the Sea Queen's Aquarium, some underwater place in Denny's. I'm supposed to look for a man in a checkered shirt. That's all I was told. Pretty paranoid, huh? I guess they're scared of the Congress. Won't they recognize me? Oh, get real, Master. You're not that famous. And these guys are just militarist fanboys. They talk and talk and just talk and talk and you should be fine. I hope. Anything else? Yes, the password is Burnt Wood. But before you go meet this Neo Belsoto, you should check out his lab. I mean, Constantinus's. These guys really want to test you. Check that you're really me, so expect them to grill you on your Belsoto insider knowledge. You mean his old lab in Zadar? I bet that place brings back memories for you, and I'm sorry. But you want to make sure they don't suspect you. Better get all the info you can before you face them. Back to Zadar we go! Back to Constantius' lab. Alright guys, and we are back in Zadar here. So, yeah, it's probably best for us to check. You're stuck in motion, motion, Kijin. Fair enough. Go and check uh, the professor's notes, shall we? I remember these notes and diagrams. This is where Max and I learned our first lessons about Temtem and how to tame them. Did he actually ever care for us? We were just pawns in his hands and Max just happened to be more malleable than me. Maybe it was just Aina taught me better. I could have been there I could have been in their shoes. It's just twisted. Now he used them to try to use me. I'm wasting time here. Constantinos was hiding in plain sight for years. Building Clan Belsoto in the shadows, gathering his forces. He was too clever to leave obvious clues around here. At least he didn't care anymore. 
guessing it'd be somewhere around here then. Maybe there's something in Constantinus's computer. Snap, the, it's password protected. What is our secret weapon? That's the Mega Zazer, so starts with Mega. Z. A. It's none of those. Incorrect password. Try again. It was Mega. Oh, it's an I, isn't it? Yeah, it was Mega Zazer. Password accepted. Access granted. Yeah, here we go. Constantinus' secret files. Contingency plan. This operation is to be activated if the Telobos Flying Fortress is critically compromised or downed. Intelligence reports the construction of Tamus Paradise is already underway. That's mirror Eng facilities in Omnesia. Imperative to infiltrate operatives in TP. General X has devised a contingency plan to destroy Tamus Paradise in retaliation for a potential loss of Telobos. And in no other case should this operation be activated. I'm not sure what this is about, but it sounds important. This should be enough to convince the Neil Velsotis I'm one of them. Let's go. We've got to go to the aquarium now. Okay. The Sea Queen's Aquarium is located. There. Right. Well, back to surfing. See you in a bit. All right, guys. And we are here. At the Sea Queen's Aquarium. Okay, so we're after... You're right up there, are you? Okay. We are after someone with a checkered shirt, is who we're after. Let's go and find them then, shall we? Where would you be? You just... Right at the end. Okay, cool. There you are. Hmm. Hello, young tamer. And you are? I'm Max. Oh, I see. Nice name. Do you have, um, something to tell me? You know what I mean. Yeah, burnt wood. Ah, I think you might be the person we're expecting. What was your name again? Max. Hmm, so you say. I'm not sure I can trust you yet. What was his last plan that we must enact? He must have told you about it, seeing how he used to be his right-hand tamer. The Contingency Plan. Hmm, we'll see about that. Under which circumstances is it to be activated? If Talobos is downed. Yes, and who knows the details, fellow Soto? Who should we contact about this? General X. Oh, I knew it. He's our last hope, then. And tell me, fellow Soto, what is the target? Tamer's Paradise. Well, it's irrelevant how the Congress sympathizers call that place. The important part is we're going ahead with this. So you are the famous Max. And we told us what happened to you after Kasiwa. Some even rumoured that you were dead. Congress propaganda, no doubt. Can't describe how inspiring it is to meet you. And no, you're still on our side. Here, please have this. We have given all our savings for the cause. I know you will use them wisely to help revive Clan Bel Soto. Cheers for the money. Hurry now. Go see our beloved general. He will know what's the next phase for our plan. We tried to contact him, but the guard wouldn't let us in. Perhaps you'll find a way in. Pants on speed, Max. Clan Soto will rise again. Well, we know exactly where General X is. He's in prison, so let's go to the prison. At least it's not me in it this time. All right, guys, and we are now back in the prison. Not in prison, obviously, but, um, oi, you've got some questions to answer. What do you want now? Come to gloat to the misfortune of a soldier? What's the contingency plan? <laughs> Why should I tell you anything, Congressional Clown? I'm not moving a finger to help you, pacifist scum. Tell me or you eat poop. <laughs> Empty threats, I've lost war and army. But I shall not lose my dignity. And the poop thing is just a misunderstanding. Really. Like down below it was. Hey, Mastrath, over here. <laughs> what? You? I'm done with this poop storm, General. You want to keep sinking to the down below? You do that alone. Listen to me, Congressional Agent. I used to be his aide de champ, Mastraff. I know everything. Just ask me. All I want is a fair deal, okay? Strike a bargain with the former ADC of General X. Alright. 
Mastrath, remember me from Kasiwa, yes? You remember I was against this whole war, don't you? Your exact words were, you fool, you have no idea who you're messing with. Um, well, I was. Had to pretend, right? You would have done to me what he did with Max. Mm. I should have, you traitorous Hazrat. By the way, Max is alive and well. Mm. What? Shut up, you pompous ass. I'm busy over here. Saving yours. But you need my help, don't you? You don't have much time. Believe me, the contingency has already been implemented. So listen up. Tamer's Paradise is a secret project being developed by the Miral's Engineering Cooperative, and the contingency was a plan to take or sabotage it. Since you're keen on knowing someone out there, must be going ahead with the operation. What is Tamer's Paradise exactly? I was never told, but I think it was some sort of seventh island. The kind of monumental project only the Omnisian engineers could pull off. That would make it more impressive than we when they sabotaged it. How? Maybe you gave them the idea or an idea or two with what you did to the Talobos, huh? And mind you, Tamer's Paradise is full of visitors soon. So as it so as soon as it opens officially, I have to hurry to Omnisia then. Wait, what about my pardon deal? Yep, you don't get one. Ask about Tamer's Paradise at the Mirange offices. Let's go do that! Alright guys, and we are back in Superior Omnonesia, trying to find the Mir Engine, uh, the Mir Engine offices, which is literally right here, so, hey, something le not time consuming for a change, sort of, right, need to go and try and find what is going on here, when it comes to this, might as well check at the front desk, while we're here, hello, Welcome to Mural's Engineering. This doesn't look like engineering. <laughs> because of the bunks? Well, this is, accommoda this is the accommodation level floor. Initially, accommodation was only for members of the co-op, but a long time ago, there was a great influx of people coming to work. So Mirange decided to enlarge it and open it to everyone. It was back when the Miriles voted to build the gifted bridges in Denny's. A lot of people came far away to work on such a big project, so we needed plenty of space. We have a firm, proud tradition of hospitality here at Miral's, so it was only natural to house as many as we could. It was a long project, many worked on it for years, made friends, met their other half, many wanted to stay afterwards. That's why you see so many Kasuian and Denizen eyes here in Nanja these days. That's lovely. We're Miralian, you see. We build bid bridges between islands, between people too. Thanks. So we are going to need to try and find where we need to be going, and I believe it would be with you guys. Hello. The last time, tell us what we want, to, what we want to do, or else. I, I've, I've already told you. The classified mirror information. We we cannot divulge it. And now, please leave. And the last time, woman, tell us what you, what we want to do, or else. I am Special Congressional Agent Mastrath. Surrender now! Oh no, do something, man! A Congressional Agent? I, you... Dude, we're so dead. Indeed you are, battle me, scum! You scum! You literally children. What the hell? Right. Well, the highest level. We still should be okay, though, to be honest. Take that, Nidrasil. You're dead. That was quick. That was very quick for you. Toxic farewell. That's annoying for Rebel. But at least we've got this going for us, too. Crystal Spikes. That's on William. That's fine. Honestly, don't know how long this video is going to be. Uh, because it's. I've already been doing this for an hour. It's been an hour already. So I have no clue how long this is going to be. On this. Anyway, Water Blade on Drakash. You're dead because the time is four. Because you weak to me. That's annoying. That, that burn's annoying, though. Fiery soul for you. All right. What's your last Temtem? Let me know so I can beat it. I can defeat it into battle. It's a side bat. Well, this sucks for you, then, really, doesn't it? Honestly does. So I have the perfect things to deal with you. Rotten goo. Take damage. Get locked. 
And uh, Sai Surge should finish you off. Well, that went quite well for us, really, didn't it? <laughs> Let's be honest. You guys are no threat to me. No threat to me at all. Alright, no longer evade, no longer poisoned. Regroup. We'll try to regroup at the island. Take my money, thank you very much, you weirdos. Let's beat it, quick. Thank you very much. These thugs, they want to know confidential things. Tamer's paralysis is in danger. What do they want to know? What? That's crazy. How? Never mind. If what you say is true, and you are a special congressional agent, so... Tamer's paralysis is a theme park, if you want to call it that. A celebration of Temtem -tem taming. The one thing that brings everyone together. A whole new island? How has this been going on? Well, we started working on it a long time ago, before the Bel Soto threat. It was supposed to be a surprise, and then, with the shortage of raw materials from Tukma, and the increased demand for construction materials for the Kasuian construction, it was never meant to be a hard secret, but at first there was no point announcing it if it was delayed. And later, Carlos told us we might become a target for Clan Bel Soto. So he kept it under wraps. Seems he was right. Are they already there? <coughs> yes, and worse than that, the inauguration was supposed to be today, so it's not open to the public yet. But a lot of special agents are there. If something happens, it'll be a catastrophe. Where is it? Here, have the navigational charts. It's marked here. Tamer's Paradise Charts. Navigational directions to reach the seventh island. The Narl is here in Nanja. You're in luck. Go talk to the captain. The Narl is always wherever I am. And he just can't live without me. It's not what I've heard her say about you. Damn it! Damn it, Adia. Really? I don't think Adia likes me, you know. I don't think Adia likes me at all. Right, well. Adia's at the uh, Nanja Terminal. Give her the charts. We will do. Since we are already here, Adia should be here as well. You are, hello. Finally a break after all this. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Oh yes, yes, yes. No way. Yes way. No way. It's actually important, Adia. And when the down below isn't it, what now? Be the first captain to sail to the seventh island? What do you want about? You handed over the Tamer's Paradise charts. <laughs> Tamer's Paradise, huh? I'd heard rumours from the other captains about an uncharted massive island. Out of the way. Seemed to be in construction. <laughs> Fine, but only if you admit you can't do this without me. I can't do this without you, Addy. <laughs> ah, finally. It's only taken six, you six islands and a massive war to admit that... <laughs> oh, you had to ruin it. <laughs> Augustine, get the moorings. We're bound for a new land. And with that, it's open! It's unlocked for us! Finally! The new area, folks! Tamer's Paradise is open! Open for business! Hopefully. Tamer's Paradise, a celebration of Tem Tem Taming. Obviously this island can only be unlocked once you finish the game, once you complete this mission. So there we go! Ah, oh, an unexpected visitor. Let me see the guest list. No, I don't think I have you on here, Mastra. Sorry about that. The inauguration is a massive inclusive, exclusive event, but as soon as we're officially open, you're more than welcome to... I'm chasing Belsoto saboteurs. I must get them before it's too late. What? Uh, by the Panson. Yes, go on then. I guess you should talk to the TP manager. She's over there, right at the entrance. She'll know what to do. I will. Save Tamer's Paradise from Neo Belsoto saboteurs. Or is it you? No, you're a chief engineer. You are not the one we're after. Ooh, there are a couple of areas we can go to. Alright. Let's go for the closest one, I guess. I mean, yeah, we're not allowed to walk in here, but we've just been allowed to walk in here. So there we go. Oh. I, I know that outfit. Hey, pss, you that Max, the great veteran of Kasiwa? Give me a hand here. I'm almost done preparing the explosive. 
You lot really eat poop, don't you? What? No, what are you... What? You're working for the Congress now? Shut up, you're not even Bel Soto, just a cosplayer of hate. It was only yesterday that we defeated Clan Bel Soto, and somehow there are already fools ready to bring back its hateful madness. Yep, all of them are near Bel Soto members, and we need to beat them in battle. That is what we need to do. Alright. Go Rotten Goo on Babawa. Uh, I guess I'll fire Salt Skunch, why not? Bit of damage in there. Also, you're burnt too, that's gonna help out. Wrenching Massage. It's only funny when I do it, you know. That's not funny. Rotten Goo! Yes! Jeez, Babawa is tanky. Very tanky. We're gonna go for the harmful lick now on poor William. Get off, William! No! Oh! oh, William! Alright, well, at least I got that going for me. Okay. Then let us. Yeah, snarf. Why not? Because I'm gonna hit that scunch with a psychic with a with a mental attack at this point. Uh, so that's gonna be fun for me. Get out of here, scunch! Also, helicopter kick, please beat Babawa. I think you might have done. You did! Good! Nice job, scunch. Oh, nice job, snarf. Savage suplex, that's annoying. That is quite annoying. That's even more annoying. But luckily, you'll only have one Temtem left after this. Sci Surge! Take that, you sod! Alright, very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Come on, what's your last one then? What's your last one? It's a Shaolent! Okay then. I mean, I'm gonna go for the wrenching massage and a fire soul, I think. Just try and get as much damage as I can on it. I'm gonna go for the hook on Rebel, which is an interesting option, I guess. Fiery soul to get some big damage off. You're now burnt. Wrenching massage now. Slap, 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 slap. Not much damage, but it's fine. It's fine. Rebel should be uh, good enough to finish you off next turn. Or I could just go for the size bunch's rack and definitely finish you off. You're gonna go for another hook. You are boosting your attack power. Unfortunately, you now have to deal with Snarf's balls. Snarf's balls! You had to deal with Snarf's balls there. Didn't work very well for you. Alright. Very nice indeed. Traitor! You're running the contingency plan. No, I'm not. Maybe you should keep everyone away on this one. Stop that one right on time, but according to the witnesses, there's three more of them, so... There's three of them, so two more to go. Indeed, let's go and find them then. Since we know where they are, they're on the map, so, you know. There's one here, for example. Hello. Dana goes in here, I guess. Stop before I hurt you! What? Who? How I... No, it's not what it looks like. This isn't mine, not my bomb, it's a friend's. Someone gave it to me. I just found it here, I only... The truth will come out in battle, my friend. The truth will come out in a fight. Okay. Rebel and Rocket. I guess we're bringing Rocket out this time. That's fine. Okay. Uh, Fiery Soul on you. And a Crystal Dust for you. Why not? Crystal Spikes on Rebel. That's annoying. Okay. Rebel lives it, though. Get a Crystal Dust off. Come on, Rocket. I didn't do too much damage. That's fine. Fiery Soul for you. Have fun with it. Embrace it. Brace its power. Embers for Rocket. That's annoying. Luckily, I have a I have immunity because of Chamomile. Haha. <laughs> okay, another fiery soul for you. Uh, toxic gas for the pair of you. Have fun with it. Zenith is gone. Good to see. No more damaging Rebel, eh? No more of that. And I'm now evading, which is also very good. Toxic gas. Let's go. Toxic damage. Meteor Swarm, okay, well Rebel's gonna Rebel's gonna dodge that. That's fine. Rockhead, not so much. But ag again, it's okay. It's okay. Psy Surge and Crystal Deluge. Let's go with that. <coughs> uh, excuse me, guys. Right. Crystal Deluge, take some damage. Why not? You're now asleep. Ha ha! Psy Surge! Go! Get some more damage in. Yes, there we go. We got the right can defeated. Lovely to see. Yeah, it, it didn't go very well for you, did it? You don't understand. That doctor will turn us all into mind-controlled digital cyborgs. 
Doctor? Oh, not that bloody doctor again. That's the second saboteur. Must find the last one before it's too late. The last one is located over there. However, I could do with using my uh, Tumescence files, couldn't I? Just get my team back up. Don't want to be caught. Um, don't want to be caught with my pants down, pretty much. Hello there. She's not looking now. Let's do it quick. Place it behind the tree, and you guys never learn. Ah, you you won't catch me. Too late. Already have. Now we are in battle. Oh, this is bad for you. This is bad for you. Ah, oh, such a shame. Your Dracash is dying immediately. And your Zalbian will not be too far behind. That burn's a bit annoying, but, uh, you know. Now, oh, Fiery Soul, take that. You're now burnt as well. You're going to go for the Electric Punch. On Rebel, that's fine. Rebel can live that quite well. Uh, I mean, yeah, let's go for Water Blade on you. And I guess I'll Fiery Soul and finish off the Dracash. Yeah, keep attacking William. Go right ahead. Keep attacking William. Water Blade! Oh, he's still alive. Okay. Oh, and you're still alive. This isn't good. Electric Punch on William. Yeah, all right. That's fine. I've, I've, I've got loads. I've got loads of Temtem left. Especially when my next one bringing in, so yeah, it's Snarf, of course. Snarf's our next option! Okay. Let's go for a Fire Flay on Zabby and just get rid of it. Helicopter Kick, that's probably gonna knock both of you out, really, isn't it? It is! There we go! Leave it up to Snarf to finish the job. Take that, Dracash, you sod. That's annoying. But it's fine, I, I, I guess. I surrender. I only joined because I wanted to be, you know, part of it. I never said anything about hurting anyone, and now I... You were planting explosives. What the hell did you expect me to do? That's the last of them. Master Rath saves the day once again. Huh? Go me! I should let someone know this place is safe now. Indeed, report back to the TP manager. Who is right at the door. That's fine. We'll just go do that, and I think that's the end of the Poison Legacy, I think. If not, it's very close to the end of it. So, yeah. It's been an hour and 16 minutes. Obviously, I'm going to condense it, the travel down. What's this all about? I heard the Congress sent a special agent to capture the ter some terrorists. Is this true? You hear that master they texted me about? Yes, Taylor's Paradise is now safe. Phew, by the pants on. What a relief. Those hateful, hateful people. They're the exact opposite of what we wanted to achieve here. Tame's Paradise is a celebration of what brings us all together. Temtem Taming, a place for tamers of all islands to meet and share good times. This is Constantinus' legacy, anger and hate. I hope we can all heal before it poisons us all. But let's cheer up. This is a place for celebration and fun. You did great and now you should take some holidays and enjoy yourself. Here, have a token on the house. Thanks for a Digilair token. Admit one to the digital to the Digilair in Tamer's Paradise. And this one. Draft Arena token. Admit one admit one to the Draft Arena in Tamer's Paradise. What the down below and this one. The ever shifting tower token. Admit one to the ever shifting tower in Tamer's Paradise. You earned them. And then some. Wait, what are these? Tokens for activities here in Tamer's Paradise. They ain't cheap, but. Down below, take me, you sure, aren't them? I have another one. The Grit Arena token. Admit one of the Grit Arena in Tamer's Paradise. Can't even express how relieved I am. Please enjoy Tamer's Paradise to the fullest. You're a shining example of what this place stands for. Ah, oh, shucks. Okay, don't tell anyone, but... Oh, we got another one. Tem Safari token. All right. There are more our tokens. Need some more. The machines at the Central Plaza sell more. Thank you so much and enjoy, Mastra. Coda Legacy done. And with that, the 100th episode is done. Nearly one hour, 20 minutes to do that mission, but obviously I'm going to be uh, condensing it down with pretty much just the uh, moving around from area to area. But there is still the quests that we need to do. It's these two, the Peacemaker and the Legend. 
I guess we're going to be going back to getting these, getting all of the Arc Tamers to Tamers Paradise, and then challenge them all. That's what we're going to do in the next episode, folks. Episode 101. We're getting close to the end now. I'll see you then.